Hey, I'm back with the second part of my June 2013 Project Life layout. I've already cut the photos and I've just kind of placed them in um, pretty haphazardly of where I think I want them to go. I do a little bit of pre-planning with my Project Life and the only pre-planning I really do is what photos I'm going to print and what pockets are going to go in so I can make sure I have enough photos printed and not too many photos printed and that I have them printed in the correct size. So the top two photos, I'm continuing with my regular um, style of Project Life, which is where I have white square 4x6 cards in the tops and the bottoms in the 4x6 pockets. And then I will put 3x4 cards with rounded corners in the middle row where the 3x4 pockets are. So I want to start with the top two pockets and I've, I'm working on them at the same time because they're kind of they're going to kind of mirror, mirror each other rather. These are pictures of my niece and nephew. They were um, born last, we'll see, the spring of 2013 and this was the first time we had actually got to see them in person. We had seen plenty of photos of them but um, this is the first time we'd actually got to see them in person. So I'm scrapbooking these photos. They were both sleeping <laughs> but they're so cute. They're Kalia and Khalil. And now they're a lot bigger than this, but I wanted to make sure I captured, um, you know, our first visit with them since it was the same weekend of Father's Day when we were down um, at my in-law's house. I'm using some pattern paper to um, back the photos, and I've rounded the corners of the pattern papers where they're beside each other, and then the ones on the outsides will stay squared. I'm going to keep this pretty simple. I'm going to add a little bit of vellum here and I'm going to use this this vellum that's from I believe it's from Studio Calico I got it in one of my Studio Calico kits and I've just kind of used it in pieces here and there and I'm also going to round the corners of these to match the rounded corners of the pattern paper that they're going to be on top of and this is where I'm actually going to put their names the names of the babies I like how it kind of softens the detail of the pattern paper below, but it also keeps it visible. It doesn't completely cover it up, which I really like. I just lined it up and then I glued it to the photo first and then I will actually glue it to the pattern paper. This little piece of paper that you see right here to the left that I'm pointing to is actually my little planning sheet. This is what I use. I sit at my computer and I do this and this is where I just write out which photos to print that way when I get them in the mail. I order my photos from Snapfish. It's the best quality one that I've seemed to find um, because I don't, I don't I mean, I do have a photo printer, but I don't like buying paper and ink for it, so not photo paper and ink. So I don't print photos at home at all. I only order them. And I tried, you know, printing them at Walmart or CVS or Target, and I really just wasn't satisfied with them. I've tried a couple different um, online photo places, like I think I tried... Um, Oh shoot, I can't even think of the names of them now, but I tried a couple different ones, um, but Snapfish is the one I settled on and I really like them. I like that you can order your photos with white borders on the sides. I like that um, you can make photo collages and it's pretty, it's a very good price, I believe. I, and I always get coupons, so I don't think I've ever actually paid full price for any order that I've ever gotten from them. But I, this is this is what I do. This is just how I scrapbook. And I order a, a bunch of photos at once. So I have a whole pile of photos. And I just, when I have time to scrap, I just sit down and I take those photos and I pull out my little planner sheet that you saw there on the left on the notebook paper. And I see what what's next on my list to scrapbook. And, you know, I may have a, a pile of 30 photos at any given time and I pull from those. And then as soon as I start to get low, I'll start ordering more. You know, for instance, I just finished these June pages. Yesterday I finished all the pages. I didn't record all the 12 by 12 photos. I mean, I'm scrapbook pages, but I finished those yesterday. So I've already ordered three more months worth of photos coming up. So I should be getting those in a few days. And I just got a coupon in my email yesterday from Snapfish saying that if you order by Monday the 9th, because this is February, um, if you order by Monday the 9th, this this video is going to go up after this, but just to give you an example, if you order by Monday the 9th, you can get free shipping before Friday the 14th. So 
or sorry, Saturday the 14th. That's when Valentine's Day is. But, so, you know, I always use coupons on it, so it makes it totally worth it. Just, you know, throwing it out there if you're looking for a good place to order photo fr photos from. I really like Snapfish. They have really good quality. I I've never had any issues with any photos that I've printed, and they're a really good price. I'm just adding a couple finishing touches here to the top. All right, so those are my top photos. Now I'm going to work on the three by four photos on the on the middle row, and these are all, of course, of the same day, the same time, just different pictures of Kaylin. We were actually out at a fountain that's like a little pond and a fountain that's in the in the pond, and they have a band there in the summer. On I believe it's Saturday nights. It's either Friday or Saturday nights. <clears throat> And so we went up there, we walked up there one day, just Kaylin and I, and we watched the band, and I got him some french fries at Shane's. <laughs> so he's sitting there eating french fries and watching the band. It's just a nice summer evening. I've got my bottom 4x6 cards here out, just kind of laying it all out. It's funny, I pulled out the 3x4 cards to work on those, and I ended up working on the 4x6 cards at the bottom instead. I knew I wanted that picture of my older sister and her family just to kind of stay simple, but I am going to add a small caption onto it. It's just going to say, um, you know, their name, and the this picture was actually taken in the spring, I believe. So that's what it's going to say, spring 2013. I'll just use a Sharpie to do my journaling on cards. I mean, um, not on cards. Oh, sorry. My brain is, like, all over the place at the moment. I have a short time span to record this, so I'm trying to do it before I leave to go eat lunch with Ernest, and then I have to go get Kaylin, so from preschool, so my brain is just, like, 10 minutes ahead of what I'm actually doing. So, back to what I was saying. I like to use my Sharpie pen, or, or the fine point marker, to do a lot of the journaling on stickers. I'm also going to use that Sharpie marker to do journaling on the vellum later as well, just to make sure that it doesn't smear. haven't had any problems journaling with the Sharpie marker. Um, I know some people are really particular about what type of inks that they use um, when it comes to journaling, but so far I haven't had any issues. If something ends up happening later, I can always go back and, you know, adjust or change or replace the journaling cards if I have to. Um, but honestly, I haven't had any problems with that, so we'll deal with that when it comes. I do about 50% of my journaling in myself in my own handwriting and about 50% in printed um, journaling from my computer. So I kind of have a mixture anyways already in my album. I try to keep it consistent across one page. I don't have printed journaling in one corner and then handwritten journaling in another corner. I either do all handwritten or all printed, um, but it's usually just consistent across that same page. I'm pulling out a couple different things to use here. I used a stamp to stamp the sunshine. I'm going to put it in the corner of one of these middle photos. And then I'm also going to use different alpha stickers. I'm flipping through here trying to figure out which one I want. So it's going to say fun in the sun. And there's going to be a, a word on each of the four photos. And then um, I'm going to mat each of these photos on white cardstock to kind of set it off a little bit from the background. I've got a gray polka dot and two of the um, two of the pockets and then a green kind of diagonal crisscross pattern on the other two. So these gray pattern papers are actually from um, the Michaels loose 12 by 12 paper whenever you go into the store. So they're, they're a pretty thin pattern paper. So I'm actually going to use um, some paper to back those. And that pile of papers that you see in the top left corner um, clipped together are just some scrap papers I have. There are ones where I've already cut into the 12 by 12. The majority of the 12 by 12 is either gone or it's my favorite paper. So or there's a third option that I don't like it as much and so I have it out to try to use it up. Um, I don't like keeping 
half pieces of paper or less than three-fourths of a paper in my stash. I try to keep those out and use those and I try to only keep either full sheets or almost full sheets in my stash just because I find that I don't use them if it's less than that. So I kind of keep a pile of them on my desk and I try to keep it at a minimum that I don't keep a ton. If I start having too much I'll go through it and I'll throw away things. So I even have small scraps but I just don't want to throw them away. I try to make the most of my stash. So I am going to round all the corners of these, which you can see the green ones are already rounded. I did cut out that sunshine stamp that I did, and I went ahead and added sun to this one, and these are some Oct October afternoon alpha stickers. And the, f the way it's going to read is the first one's going to say fun in the sun, and there's a word on each of the four cards. Uh, on the first card where it has fun, it's actually going to be backed by a little gray banner, which you'll see very quickly. I, I guess I put it on pretty quickly, and so it didn't it didn't catch very well in the video. And then there's also going to be a, a banner that says Happy Happy Day on the bottom corner of the third card, that, that gray one right there um, with him eating the french fries. So kind of keep an eye out for that. It's going to go very quickly, this part, because I seem to be, I guess I was on a roll when I was scrapbooking. Um, but you'll see it in the end photos as well. And then you're going to see Kaylin's hands pop in and out of here in a minute. It's funny to me, I don't think about it while I'm scrapbooking, that he comes in and picks up the photos and looks at them, but I always notice it when I'm actually doing the videos. You can see, periodically, he'll come in and he'll look at the, he'll pick up what I'm, I'm scrapbooking and look at all the pictures, and then he'll put them back down and he'll leave, but you'll see his little hands pop in and out of here periodically. Usually, he's on the floor next to me, either playing with Legos or coloring or playing with Play-Doh. He just likes to be with me. Um, whether it's me or Ernest, he always likes to be in the room with us. And since, you know, I mentioned before, these scrapbooks are actually for him and his brother, so I want him to look at them. I want him to, you know, take the time and enjoy them so it doesn't bother me at all that he just picks it up and looks at it. As long as he doesn't destroy it, <laughs> then we're good, which he never does that. He's actually very careful with them. He wants to know what's going on in the pictures. What, you know, what is that? But, which I think is really cool. That's just me being a sappy mom, I'm sure, but I really think it's cool. So um, moving on to the last card, and this is actually another day. I'm just finishing this final card. I've got this pink and red pattern paper, which I love, but I have it. And I'm going to use this, another piece of that vellum to be at the bottom. And I'm going to stamp this little house, and I'm going to end up having to do this twice. Well, I did a test one, and then I'm going to have to do it again twice because I should have used stays on ink, and I didn't. I just used memento ink. I don't have a black stays on and so I didn't want to use, I think it's rich cocoa is what I have, and I didn't want to use that because it's brown. So I'm going to end up having to redo the house on here because it's going to smear in a moment. I really like this effect. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but I went ahead and ran with it just because I thought it would be cool looking, especially since when you're looking at the page, the top right corner has a lot of pinks, so it brings those pinks down to the bottom left corner and kind of keeps the same color scheme throughout. This page was made with grays and greens and pinks primarily. This little stamp set that I used that had the house and the I love this, it also has a little compass on the same stamp set. That is actually from a Studio Calico um, kit that I got a couple months ago. Just flipping through my stash of enamel dots and rhinestones and things like that and I'm going to use some of those on here. So I've mentioned before I don't have a tiny attacher I just use my stapler which is fine by me um, but eventually I will invest in a tiny attacher. All right so I just added a little bit of embellishing here and then I'm going to start doing my journaling and what it says is this month was a nice and relaxing month with family just enjoying the wonderful weather we now have on a regular basis and spending time together. We got to meet our new family Khalil and Kalia. We took lots of walks even up to the fountain to enjoy some fries and music one night. Um, all in all what a great way to start the summer. And this is going to be the end of this page. If you'll stay tuned to the end, you'll actually see some still shots. And then I will have a blog post following this video being posted so you can see more still shots if you'd like. I really like how this layout turned out. Like I said, it used 
a lot of the colors I really like the grays and the pinks and the greens I really like those colors it's hard to scrapbook with pink when you're the only girl in your family and you have a lot of boys but I like to throw it in there every once in a while where I can so this is the final card and here is the final layout I'm just gonna slide it in there all right that is it I'm just gonna cover the staples on the back just to make sure that they don't puncture through whatever's gonna be on the opposite side but that will finish out the layout thanks bye Thank mm -hmm. you.